Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and made our way through uh, some later areas of the Hotlands. We appeared on the news, defeated Metaton, and in this episode we're going to go ahead and continue on through this area because we're about to fight a boss. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their money. Ah, hoo, hoo, hoo. You think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? Ah, hoo, hoo, hoo. I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. This is Muffet, our next boss fight. And... Probably one of my favorite boss themes in the game, next to uh, Papyrus's. Um, and she has some pretty cool attacks. There's one with this huge monster that's, you know, pretty strange. It She turns your heart purple and makes you go along these three lines in order to dodge stuff. You might be wondering, why am I explaining her attacks to you instead of just showing them? Well, interesting thing you can do is if you eat a spider donut in front of her, you ate the spider donut. Your HP was maxed out. Huh? Where did you get that? Did you steal it? Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do with thieves. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying that they saw you and you helped donate to their cause. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul. They must have meant a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all that trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all, I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. And we can spare her. So that's why I told you to keep that spider donut handy. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. And we can just move on. Ooh, this is a great part. Oh, that human. Could it be my one true love? I can't sing, so I'll just let this part, part play out. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. 
A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens of mercy, the horrible colour tile maze. Each colour tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. And now we have this tile maze again. Try your best to make it through, it'll be pretty tough, so... Yeah, not much we can do. Yeah, I think I'm stuck here. Unless... I got pretty close. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my. Any minute now. Watch out, I'll, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Th that's right. Come on, Metaton, give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us, not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Elsvies, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. This is Metaton. Another character with a great theme. And let's go ahead and check. 30 to 55, his metal body still renders him invulnerable to attack. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. Now press Z. Ooh! Oh! You defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Toodles! Looks like you beat him! You did a really great job out there! All, th all thanks to you. What? Oh, no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything with, without... Without any... Ending up every, letting everyone down. But, but... Guiding you has made me feel... A lot better about myself. So... Thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Let's finish this indeed. Continuing on, we are... I've said this a couple of times, but we are literally very close to ending this. Hey! Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here. These two fellas brought all my ice cream. 
I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? I forget what voice I did for that guy, but I remember that I started out depressed and then I accidentally went to like a 50s news anchor. Oh, hey. We're like taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Aww. What's over here to the right? Oh, hey. It's Hates Flamesman. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Yeah. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? He's certainly a character, alright. Let's head up these stairs. Hey. Hey, go up to the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. These are bratty and catty, as it says on the sign in the back. About you two. I'm bratty, and this is my best friend, catty. I'm catty, and this is my best friend, bratty. Not sure where it is. The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. But like, the stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wicked buy all of it. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food? Uh, we found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. I'm not really good at doing, like, valley girl accents, so forgive me. Oh my god, Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton. He's like, my robot husband. I think we're, like, both going to marry him. We're both, like, already married to him. He's just, like doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alfie's built Metaton, right? That's what, like, they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Dr. Alfie's was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Oh my god, Alfie's. She used to live on our street. I mean, like, if you're big... She's like a big sister to us. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you to trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So, like, has Alphys always, like, thought... Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore was a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she... Made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul that's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So, like, after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. About Asgore. Oh my god, he's a total goober. Like, I love that guy. God, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. They're quite the characters. I think there's some stuff you can buy. Oh, mystery key. I'm going to immediately buy that. Ready? We're going to be rich. I forget which voice I did for those, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Like, see you later. Like, later and stuff. We're going to go ahead and... There's some pretty important stuff that's about to happen, so I'm going to go ahead and... Where's the nearest save point? Oh, hey. Metaton looked really, really cool in that dress. It sort of makes me feel like I could wear one, too. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, hey, Muffet. There you are, dearie. You are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. Ooh, hee hee hee. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and save here and end off the episode for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and do a few things. We're going to figure out where that mystery key goes to. We're going to talk to Sans outside of the MTT Resort. And we're going to go inside the MTT Resort itself. So I hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.